Good afternoon. Now we will solve the trust problem. Was asked in 2022. Already I sent it much before, and now we will check its solution. So this question was asked: determine the vertical and horizontal deflection at point C for the truss shown below. So now first see the geometry of this. This is most important one. This is 30, 60. We know total is. 180 so automatically this goes to 90. So now this becomes my hypotenuse. If I will just draw it in this fashion, so I have this will be so this is hypotenuse, this is 4 meter. Now we have 90 degree at C, then we have at B 30 degree, and then we have sorry at b we have 60 degree and at a we have 30 degree and then uh, what will be value of a c so we can have 4 cos 30 or 6 we have 4 sin 60 and from this we will get this value that is 4 cos 30 because we know cos 30 is sin 60. So we have 4 cos 30 and that is equal to 3.3464. I will write in millimeters. 3464.1. So this is value of AC and then 4 cos 60 or 4 sin 30. This will be CB 2000 millimeters. So this is most important. Uh, how to find this value length of the members. So we have this as 4 meter. So AC we have 3464.1 and BC we have 2000 millimeters. And now we will go with, so we have, we do not have any zero force member because at A we have reaction, at B we have concentrated load and uh, sorry, reaction and at C also we have concentrated load. So now we have to see uh, joint with maximum two unknowns. So we have joint C where we have only two unknowns. So we will go joint C. So I will draw this joint C. So joint C I will plot. This angle is 90. So we have load on this that is equal to 200 kilonewton. This is C. So force in this we have FCA. Force in this we have FCB. Now you can see we have this angle. If I will draw a horizontal line, if I will draw a horizontal line at C, so you can draw this line. So this angle becomes 30 degrees. This angle becomes 60 degrees. So I will plot these angles by drawing this horizontal line. So we have this as 30 degrees and then we have this as 60 degrees. Now we will apply Fx0, Fy0 because both are unknown and both are inclined. So we have summation fx equal to zero. So minus fca fx zero. So cos 30 plus fcb cos 60 and that is equal to zero. So this is my equation number one. So we have this as equation one. Now we will go with equation two by using summation f y zero. So we have this will be minus f c a sine 30 minus f c b sine 60 minus 200 equal to zero. And then if you will write this equation, then you have minus f c a sine 30 
minus FCB sin 60 and this is equal to 200 equation 2. Now solve this equation 1 and 2 and solving this equation I got FCA this is equal to minus 100 kilonewton and FCB equal to minus 173.21 kilonewton. So we have FCA compression and then we have FCB also compression. So we have both compression. So I will mark both compression. So I will draw diagram over here. So we have this diagram. So this is concentrated, sorry, single reaction, two reaction, and then we have likewise. So we have now this as 200 kilonewton. And now this both compression, and we have this value, CA, 100 kilonewton. And we have CB, this comes 173.21 kilonewton. Now we have joint B where we have one unknown, two unknowns, that is force in this member and reaction. So I will apply Fx zero, so I will get force in the member. So Fx equal to zero and we can write, or we can draw this joint, so we can have this reaction. We are not interested. This force is given 173.21. So this will be FBA. And then applying Fx zero. So this angle we have that is 60 degrees. And therefore, minus FBA plus 173.21 cos 60 and that is equal to zero. And from this we will get value of cos 60, value of F B A. So cos 60 is one by two and this value comes 86.61 kilonewton. And therefore 10 sign so we have this as 86.61 kilonewtons. So these are P forces. Then we have Q forces, uh, K forces. So now I will draw in this. So now we have first horizontally. So I will consider this as one in horizontal direction. So this will be reaction. Now I will write it fast. You can go through calculations. I will not now explain. So I will consider joint C. Now already explained everything. So this will be one. This will be FCB. This will be FCA. This angle we have 30 degrees. This angle we have 60 degrees. Then right equation Fx0, Fy0. So Fx0 we have minus Fca cos 30 min plus Fcb cos 60 and we have plus one, so I will directly take on left. So this will be minus one equation number one. Because left we have plus one, so when it goes, that will be minus one. Then we have minus FCA sine 30 minus FCB sine 60 equal to zero. This is equation two. And solving these two equations, you have FCA 0 0.87, and this we have tensile as we are getting positive, and FCB we have minus 0 0.5. So we have this as tension, and we have this as compression. So FCA 0.87 tensile. 
and at CB, we have compression 0.5. Then we will consider joint B. So at joint B, we have, this will be compression 0 0.5. This angle is 60 degrees. So this will be a BA. So apply FX0. And then we can have, that is, FBA, this will be minus plus 0.5 cos 60 equal to 0. Cos 60 is 1 by 2. And FBA, we will get tensile 0 0.5. So we have this will be tensile 0 0.5. So these are 0 0.25. These are KH. Then we will go KV. So we will apply unit load vertical unit load you can apply downward or you can apply upward that is your choice so we have taken problem by considering upward now here i will take downward i already mentioned choice is us so we have this angle as 30 degree we have this angle as 60 degree so now we can have this one then we have this member FCA, then we have this member, FCB. So equations, if you will write, so we have minus FCA cos 30 plus FCB cos 60 equal to zero. Another equation, minus FCA sine 30 minus FCB sine 60 minus 1, I will take directly on this side, so it becomes 1. And then you can solve this. Sorry, I have taken actually this in calculations as in the class, so I have taken it upward so that that value will match, otherwise values will not be matching. So we will have this. in upward, so upward direction. And therefore this becomes plus one on this side, minus one it will go on other side. So all these two equations, you will get value of FCA. So FCA I got tensile 0.5 and FCB, so I got tensile 0.87, both are tensile. So we have, this will be 0 0.5 tensile. And then we have 0 0.87 tensile. And then half of this because cos 60 we have. So you just take that and you will get this also. So this compression. So we will get this as compression. And that value will be half of 0 0.87. So which will be 0 0.44. So this we can have by considering joint B. So we have this force that is 0.87 and this is 60. If we will consider F B A, then we will apply Fx 0 and that is equal to minus F B A minus 0.87 cos 60 equal to 0. And that will gives me FBA minus 0.44 and that is accomplished. And then we will prepare the table. We have only three members. So we have serial number, member. You can see this area of all member we have same. So that we will, therefore we will go last. So we have serial number. After this we have member. After member we have length. Area need not require to take because we have constant. After length we have P in kilonewton. Then we have KH. Then we have KV.
then we have P K H L and then we have another one column which I will write below and that will be P K V L. This I will mention serial number and then here we have again three. So we have one, two and then we have three. So now we will start with this. So we have one. So I will directly write member AB we have length of AB we have 4000. We have P for this 86.61 positive. Then KH 0.25. KV, we have minus 0.44. And I got PKHL. Uh, I got this value as 86.61 into 10 days to 3. Check it. And this I got 152.152. .152. Four three into ten days to three. Then we have another member. So I have taken it as AC. So length we have three four six four point one. Value of P minus hundred. Value of KH point eighty seven. KV point five. PKHL minus 301.38 into 10 days to 3 and PKV minus 173.21 into 10 days to 3 and then we have third So third member we have BC. So we have third BC and then 2000 length minus 173.21 then minus 0 0.5 0 0.87 into 173.21 minus 301 301.39 into 10 days to 3. And I got this summation. If I will go, I have minus 41 point P K H L is minus. 41.56 into 10 days to 3. And this value I got, summation PKVL, I got this value, minus 627.03. So PKV First minus, second minus, third minus. PKV minus 627.03 into 10 days to 3. Units of this is, now we have PKL only, so kilo newton millimeters. So we have kilo newton millimeters. And now we have delta V, we will write. So delta H first. Summation P, K, H, L upon A, E. Now A, E we have to find. A is given. So I will go back. A2 into 10 days to minus 4 meter square. Convert into keep meter square into 
or convert millimeter to the power 2. So this will be 10 raised to 6 meter to millimeter into value of E we have 200 into 10 raised to 3. And then if you solve this, so 6 minus 4, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. So we have 4 into 10 raised to 7 Newton AE. So Newton per mm square and millimeter square. So we become Newtons only. And then we have this value minus 41.56 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 4 into 10 raised to 7. So now keep in mind, this is in kilonewton. So convert this into newton. And from this, you will get value of delta H will be minus 1.04 millimeters. We have considered horizontal load in this direction towards left. And therefore, delta H we got minus. So 1.04 millimeter in the opposite direction has applied unit force because it is minus. And delta V we have summation P K V L upon A E. And we have this value minus 627.03 into 10 raised to 3 is in kilonewton. Convert in newton divided by 4 into 10 raised to 7. And we will get this value minus 15.68 millimeters. We have considered, now you can see unit load horizontal is towards right. Minus value means deflection towards left. We have considered this actually upward. I have mentioned over here upward. So this we have to cancel and we have this load. So I will just cancel this. I cancel on left, but this So we have this triangle, actually the triangle gone. So I will just draw it. It passes through this. So we have likewise, and then it should pass through these arrows. And then we have to consider upward. So we have taken air upward. And then as it is upward, we have value minus. So we have this 15.68 millimeter in downward direction. So likewise, we have to solve this problem of trust. Now we will stop here only. Remaining part we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.